Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will continue working on the recurring tasks solution, which builds on two Dataverse tables, the task uh, table and the template table. The template I have filled with some example data. So there are two tasks here, one with a description and each of them with a frequency. So this send invoices, I'm supposed to do that every day and buy fruit every second day. So those are my example data. And those are the only two, three fields that I've filled in. There's also a next field here, which indicates when this task is to be performed the next time. And notice that this is a text field. That's to make the query that I'm gonna build in the Power Automate flow easier to work with. There's also a tasks table here. Let's actually rename that because I want it to be a bit more unique. So I'll just call it daily tasks so that we'll have an easier time finding it later. Meanwhile, we will start with our flow. So I'm going to do an automation cloud flow and it's going to be scheduled. So I want this to run every morning at 7.30 and it's going to be create daily tasks 7.30. And it's going to run once a day, every day, which is good. So I'll create that flow and the recurrence here. I'm going to rename that to daily just to see directly what's going on. Then I'm going to do a query to select the templates that do not yet have a next value. And I'm going to fill those out. So to do that, I'm going to use the Dataverse action. And there are two Dataverse, the one that's legacy and the one that's not legacy. I'm going to use the not legacy one and I'm going to use the list rows, which is the same as get items in SharePoint or select if you're coming from the database world. So you're going to get uh, information from a table in this case. So I'm going to scroll down and find templates. And now I'm going to select only those where this next column equals Null. Notice that I'm not using the expression null here. I'm typing it in and that seems to be the way to do it with Dataverse. In, if you were doing the same thing on SharePoint, you would use the expression. But here equals null works just fine. And now I need to select which column is it that's supposed to be null. And as I said, it's the next column. So uh, as you can see, that column has no less than three different names. It has the display name. It has the logical name and it has a schema name. And the one that I want to use is the logical name. So I'm going to copy that, put that in my query with a space in between. And that's going to give me all the empty next uh, templates. So uh, then we're going to loop through those and set the date to the next appropriate one. So for example, if it doesn't have a value in next here and I loop through this today, then of course the next one should be tomorrow because it's every other day and this one should be today. So we're going to calculate that date by reading first the frequency. So let's put that in a variable just to make this step by step. So let's create a variable first. So I'm going to initialize the variable and call that template frequency. I'm going to use that later, so I'm just going to copy that, so make sure that I have it. Control C. And then in here, I'm going to get the frequency. So I'm going to get the frequency and set the variable. That's what I want to do. Set the variable that I just created. And the variable I'm going to use is this template frequency. And I'm going to set it to the value of this row. So it's going to be the frequency. Let's search for it to find it quickly frequency there and now you'll notice that I did get a loop there automatically created so I'm gonna rename that loop just to make it obvious what we're doing loop empty next right that's what we're doing and we're setting this variable rename that set template frequency I copy that so that's good to have it and I'm gonna rename that one also in it template frequency so next we're gonna take one away from that variable, add that action, increment variable, and the variable we want to 
decrement is this one of course template frequency and we're going to just decrement one so when we calculate this it's going to be two minus one so one day in the future and one minus one zero days in the future so invoices will be set today all right so it's now we're done our math for that so remove one from template frequency all right now we're going to update the row that's a dataverse action Microsoft Dataverse. And we're going to update the row. And the row that we want to update is again in the templates table. So we're going to set the template. And the unique ID of a row is stored in a property which is called the same as the table name but in singular. So the template one. This is the one you want to use. So that identifies uh, the row, all right? And then we're gonna set the next value to, now we're gonna count a bit here. Uh, we're gonna do the add days. And we're gonna add to now, U to see now, we're gonna add that function. We're gonna add the, the number of day that we just calculated. So variables. And parentheses and single quotes and then I paste that in that I just had and that's going to give me the next appropriate day for this particular uh, template that I'm working on and then I'm going to save that in uh, ISO format so I'm just going to have the first 10 uh, digits of that so I'm going to do a substring the first 10 characters is of course what I want to get there so I'm just going to rename this one to see what we're doing Set next. Right, let's run this now. And we're going to save it first. And then we're going to test it. Manually test. Run the flow. So, what should happen now is that we should get your flow, flow ran successfully. All right, let's check that. And we should have these filled out. So, the daily tasks should be set for today, the third. Yes, and it is, and the other one is set for tomorrow, the fourth. Perfect. All right, so that is good. But now for testing, for testing the next step, we're actually going to set both of them to the third, just so that we'll get two new rows. And of course, we're still not getting any tasks created. We're just updating, you know, when is the next one. So now we're going to do again another action here to get the templates that are to be instantiated, that are to be performed today, the tasks that are to be performed today based on the interval. So next step is list rows again, dataverse. So we're gonna list rows, get templates for today. That's good, reasonably short, and hopefully reasonably explanative also. So we're again choosing from the templates table and now we're filtering again by the same column, the next column. So this one. And again, we're going to take that logical name, which under advanced options there. There we go. And let's use that one. And that's going to equal now a string. It equals. And it's going to equal a string. So. I'm going to do single quotes there, and then I'm going to build a query to just uh, get today's date in the same format that we have, the, the ISO format that I was using before. So it's going to be a substring of the UTC now. And we're going to do the first 10 characters of that. That will give us the ISO format of today. So that should do it. Get templates for today. Now that we have the templates for today, in this case it will be both of these, right? Both of the templates that I have. Then I'm going to start by creating new rows in the other table, the tasks table. So we're going to add rows, row, and this is going to be dataverse again. So add a new row. Now this time we're adding it to the daily tasks table. And I'm renaming that to create task and the name is simply going to be the name of the template so get templates for today name perfect 
and now we've got the loop so we're looping templates for today right that's what we're doing and uh, in the create task action here show advanced options and there we have the description let's fill that in also be very careful with which one you're working there. You don't want to do the empty ones, but you want to do the templates for today. So that's good. Now that's done. The final task uh, is to those tasks that have been set for today now. Now we want to reset them again for the next one. So let's just make it easy and set it to empty. So we're going to update the row and that's going to be a Dataverse action again. update a row and this is going to be in the templates table and we're going to update the uh, template uh, with, that has that unique ID we'll get, uh, templates for today is the, of course the one we're working on so we're filling that out and we're setting the next value to null and here we are using the null expression because if we just type in null it's going to take it as a string so now we set it to null all right so let's save this thing now uh, we can actually rename these things also to make everything very clear here we're updating the template to next null all right that's what we're doing and that's it our flow is ready to run so let's save it again and test it and just run the recently one there seven minutes ago let's test that now it's running it's looping those templates and now let's refresh this and both of those were instantiated today so they should both be null now and they are good and we should have instances of these two tasks created for today Great, so we have buy fruit and send invoices are both tasks for today. And now the next one will be in two days from now, and the next one will be tomorrow, uh, the next time I run this daily scheduled flow. So that concludes this demo. In the next demo, I will go and create a form for actually working with these created tasks now, so that you can mark them as finished and stuff like that. So that's the next step. Thank you for watching this demonstration.